Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing this effect. It's very, very incredible easy. This is kind of very go to any type of a Halloween type of effect you want to do. This is an evil mouth. We have a very dramatic effect just using black and white and you can use a little bit of shading for giving a little more kind of a contrast or effects and volumes but with white and black it worked really good. Let's get started right away with the effect. Well guys, as always, going to start by sketching the line is going, where it's going to be the mouth. I'm going to be using a cold creamy pencil because we're going to be blending it. I'm going to move to the next step which is creating the wrinkles. I'm going to be using a cream color from the Makeup Forever palette. I'm going to be using this green cakey khaki kind of uh, military green. And I'm going to be creating lines and blending toward the outer part. And it's going to be from bigger and larger to smaller. The, other, the same is going to be on the other side and also I'm going to be doing some around the nose. Back to the guideline I create, I'm going to be blending with a small blend, blending brush and blending in its place just to get a little bit blurry effect. And right away I'm going to start with the teeth, I'm going to be taking an aqua color in white and start creating the teeth or the fangs. And It's going to be bigger on the front and it's going to be smaller on the way to the corners of the new mouth. And I'm going to suggest you to do one size and then move to the other size and then back to the first size. So we, you're doing exactly like very proportional teeth and for the bottom part I'm going to be doing the same and um, when I get kind of on the end of my chin area I'm going to create two big fangs and keep on with the smaller, uh, fang, uh, smaller teeth afterwards. Now I'm going to move to the black aqua color and fill in the entire area and because I use aqua color for the teeth now they dry out so I can add some color between them with no problem and smudging. So I'm going to be creating a kind of an outline around the teeth to create more intensity and definition to the teeth and also to cover my skin and I'm going to be also covering, uh, covering black for the rest of the mouth. Now I'm going to move back to cream colors, I'm going to use in a black to create kind of strikes uh, that goes from the upper and lower part of the mouth and also on the sides a little bit and blend it, that will create a little more creepy effect to the entire look. Now the teeth are too white so I'm going to dirt them out a little bit, I'm going to be taking a cream color in yellow and going to apply it from the upper base to the central on the upper teeth and from the bottom base to the central on the lower teeth and then I'm going to be taking a brown cream color and do the opposite so on the upper teeth I'm going to go from the bottom tip to the center and for the bottom light teeth I'm going to go for the upper tip to the central that will create a more darkening type of effect then I'm going to back, go back to the black cream color and apply a little bit on the sides of the teeth to give a little more 3D effect and we're done well guys, I hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial, it's quite easy and very effective and I'm gonna leave the list of products that I use as always on the bar below next to a ton of other makeup tutorials that you may find interesting to have a look. If the first time that you're seeing is the first time here in the channel, welcome and you have the direct link to subscribe to it so you don't miss any of my next videos. There you have the previous tutorial and my social media and as always thanks for spending some time with me, be happy and see you next one. Mm. Bye! Mm. Mm-hmm.